Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Helen and welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, um, I'm going to apologise for not uploading. Um, I think it's been almost two months now. It's been two months? Am I right in saying it's been two months? I think it's been two months um, since I last uploaded a video. I'm so sorry. Um, today's just an update video on what's been going on. I've got tons to tell you guys, so let's jump straight into all of my news. First off, I'd just like to say that I live in Scotland and the weather's absolutely atrocious um, at this time of year, so I haven't uploaded in about eight weeks. Um, and I've had about four clear nights in those eight weeks. I've been out three of the four. Um, one of them I couldn't make because I was really busy, but I was really proud <laughs> that I made three out of the four nights. Um, another factor that's prevented me from getting outside is schoolwork. Um, so at the end towards like, cause it's close, it's getting close to Christmas now. Um, and we have um, like end of unit tests at the end of like a class unit. So I've been finishing off all my tests um, because it's nearing towards Christmas now. I know um, it's crazy that it's almost Christmas. I have not wrapped my head around it. Um, but yeah, so I've been wrapping my head um, around all of the end of unit tests, doing loads of studying. Um, but yeah, so they're the two main things that have prevented me from getting outside um, as much as I wanted to. I would have been out way more if the clouds had cleared and been on my side, but unfortunately they weren't. So I'd just like to talk to you um, a bit about the wonderful equipment that Skywatcher have given me. If you haven't checked out my last videos, make sure you do so you'll understand this video um, more in depth. Um, than you would if you hadn't watched them but basically I'll just give you a rundown on what happened so um, Skywatcher kindly reached out to me um, and um, decided to give me some of their finest astrophotography equipment so I currently have the um, Esprit 120 ED triple um, apochromatic refractor um, along with the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount one of their newer mounts um, and then Starlight Express also really kindly worked together with them and reached out um, and provided me with one of their Trias cameras and one of their Trias Pro cameras, um, it's a monochrome. Um, so yeah, so I've been gifted all this equipment which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, but I just wanted to chat to you guys um, about what I had before this equipment and what I've got now. So before this equipment, I started astrophotography. I started um, like as an observational astronomer. So I just looked rather than taking photographs. So I had my Dobsonian, um, which wasn't on a tracking mount, not computerized, doesn't need any software. It's basically just plant it down and go. This um, new equipment obviously involves a lot more things um, than the Dubsonian did, so it's a bigger learning curve, which is absolutely awesome because I'm really interested in getting into the field of deep sky astrophotography. So I had loads of software to learn, I had polar alignment, I had star alignment, um, I had generally just setting the equipment up. And when it's been cloudy, I've been working on those things. So I've been working on what software is right for me, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. So I've been working on what software is right for me. And I've been doing loads of research on things like polar alignment and star alignment. Star alignment, I believe, is absolutely fine um, with me. I've done it a few times now. Um, I haven't, oh, I'll just say that I haven't managed to capture any photographs yet. Because um, of the bigger learning curve, I've been outside doing the alignment and the setup process um, to get used to everything. And by that time, it's really, really early hours of the morning. I might have had school the next day or something, so I'd have to um, get myself away to bed. But yeah, so I've been doing the alignment process. Um, polar alignment, I have done a fair few times now. Um, but I've found like in the past, um, I think it's in the past like couple of weeks, I've found that I'm struggling with it. And I'm learning more things um, that I need to do. Um, to make the process quicker. Um, any software or any tools that you guys recommend, I'd greatly appreciate um, all of your recommendations because obviously I'm not familiar um, with polar alignment at all. As I say, I've done it a few times um, and it's been absolutely fine. Like I've managed to do it, um, but I'd really appreciate any tips and tricks that you'd have to make it quicker. For example, I was out the other night, I think I was out Oh, I can't remember. Maybe it's like Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I was out last week at some point um, on one of the very rare clear nights um, and I just could not manage polar alignment. I spent a good hour on it and I just had to go in because the frustration was really kicking in. Um, so things like that, there's like days when I can completely not manage it at all and there's days when I get it like that. I think it's just a matter of practicing and me going out and doing it over and over again um, and I'll slowly learn um, my method of doing it my way 
um, and the quickest way um, and the more, most efficient way to get out and go. So every time um, I go outside, I'm learning something new, which is absolutely awesome. I'm learning how to navigate around the hand controller, different settings I can use to make different things um, easier. Um, my setup process of everything's really quick. So like taking the tripod out, putting the mount on, pointing it north, everything like that's really quick and sharp now because I've done it so many times, um, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, I've learned so many different things and every time I go out, my process and my setup's more efficient um, than the last time, which is helping me to get closer and closer to taking um, a deep sky photograph. I've also got some really, really big news, which is really exciting. Um, so again, if you haven't watched my last videos, um, I made, um, I created an Indiegogo campaign um, back um, in spring, spring, just coming up to summertime this year. Um, it was really successful and it was raising money for some equipment. Um, now, because Skywatcher kindly gifted me some of their equipment, I set the Indiegogo money aside because um, I thought uh, I wanted to think through about what I wanted to spend it on um, because I thought if I'd make a quick, de quick decision, I'd regret um, my decision. I came to the conclusion of purchasing um, the thing that I was going to purchase with it initially um, and I'll talk to you a bit about that in a second. So I purchased Skywatcher's Evo Star ATED DS Pro doublet refractor, so it isn't a triplet. Um, I've had so many comments um, saying once you go triplet you don't go back and then I clicked the buy now button on the doublet. I was like, oh, <laughs> um, no, but I have gone back to the doublet. Once my setup's nice and quick, I'm gonna be able to take my equipment elsewhere. Um, out. We've got a dark sky location where we are um, in Scotland. So um, yeah, so just being able to take my equipment out. So I've got the um, ATED is so much more portable than the Esprit 120. Um, and I just think it's a nice little transition. Also, um, on the clear nights I'm going out, sometimes I'm choosing the 80, sometimes I'm choosing the 120. It's nice to have that leeway um, and that decision. Um, which is absolutely awesome. Also, um, the with the 80, I'm using my DSLR at the moment, and then with my 120, I'm gonna be using my Trias CCD. Um, so yeah, again, that transition's nice and smooth, um, so I'm learning things with the 80 that I can carry on to the 120. As I said earlier, I've been playing about with software inside and um, when it's been cold um, and cloudy outside my two least favourite words, cold and cloudy. Although um, when it's cold, I normally have to deal with that outside. So I have a huge, um, nice big jacket that I always wear to keep me nice and toasty. So yeah, when I'm inside, I've been um, going over some software. Um, so I have come to the conclusion um, of all the software that I'm going to be using. So with my Canon 1100D, um, I am going to be using Backyard EOS. With my Trias CCD, I'm going to be using APT or Astrophotography tool. Um, for my stacking, I'm going to be using Deep Sky Stacker. For my guiding, I'm going to be using PHD2 guiding. And then for my editing and post-processing, I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop. And it gives me all the film editing software as well. So I'll be upgrading my video editing software at the same time, which is absolutely ace. Again, if you have any software recommendations, um, place them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to check them out and I'll reply um, as soon as I can. Um, I'd really appreciate any recommendations for those of you who are more experienced um, than I am. Um, in this hobby to see I just like to see and it would just be really interesting to see like what works for you um, because everyone has a different setup and different software packages that they use. So what you guys will know um, about the den panels is that one of them um, has blown off exposing the outer shell to the elements of Scotland which is not good in any way shape or form um, and then um, not too long after the first one blew off the second one blew off um, so basically, um, we looked up other alternatives to the plywood panelling um, and we found um, they're like, the, I'm going to double check and then I'll leave it um, up here um, what kind of um, sheeting it is. But it's this, it's really strong plastic and it means that the outer shell is completely waterproof. It's a really nice shade of blue and um, we'll put a photo up here. Um, but yeah, um, so it's completely um coated um so like no rain's gonna get in there's no leaking um that's gonna be happening so that's happened so i haven't been able to get into the den um until now 
but yeah that's happening um, and hopefully I'm going to get back into the flow of filming in there um, once I've cleaned up a little bit um, after everything's been fixed. Um, but yeah so that's pretty awesome so it's completely watertight um, now and nothing's going to get damaged. Also a huge thank you um, for 500 subs. I think in my last video I was thanking you about 400 or was it even 300? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, like you guys um, are absolutely awesome. Like ever since my last video, my subscriber count's gone up and up and up. I cannot apologize enough for not bringing um, like um, like a like a night in the garden with me sort of video um, that you guys were probably expecting. You didn't really want like a boring update video um, from me. So I'm really sorry, but thank you guys so much for your continued support. Um, in my journey through astrophotography um, if you haven't already subscribed consider doing so um, or just stay tuned um, because an imaging session is going to be coming very very soon and I'm very excited for it. I've even this is crazy because I think I'm at 535 um, but I've even had people like come up to me it's mad like I've had people come up and be like oh my god you're the astrophotographer from YouTube and then like I get into a conversation with them which is absolutely mental Um, I absolutely love meeting you guys in person because obviously I don't I don't get to interact with you in any way um, other than the comments so I absolutely love meeting you guys and um, if you do so happen to see me which isn't very likely um, but if you do so happen to see me come up and say hello because um, it's just lovely to talk to you and um, because from looking at people I've I don't know whether they've subscribed to my channel or not so I can't predict so just come up and say hi and we can have a chat but yeah it's been lovely to chat to the people who have come up to me um, and had a chat with me so that has been absolutely awesome so the, the target that I'm really wanting to shoot um, first is the Heart Nebula in Cassiopeia it's an emission nebula that mostly emits hydrogen um, hydrogen alpha so um, if I do um, end up using the CCD for this one which I probably 100% will be um, then I'm gonna use a hydrogen filter and see what I can get for my first shot I'm so excited for it so yeah that's gonna be my first shot so definitely stay tuned for that video I really hope it's not another two months really hope it's not another two it won't be another two months <laughs> but yeah make sure to stay tuned for a night under the stars of me in my garden. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for all of your continued support. Um, as I say, my subscriber count's just gone up and up and it's been lovely to meet those of you who I have met. Um, and I can't wait to meet more of you guys um, if you do so happen um, to see me out and about. Um, yeah, so thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate it. The equipment is absolutely awesome i am so grateful to skywatcher and um, for giving me this fantastic opportunity to take my astrophotography to the next level like a year ago i was taking pictures and um, i don't know what i was taking pictures i've taken pictures of the moon and now like i'm verging towards taking pictures of galaxies which is absolutely incredible so a huge thank you skywatcher and to starlight express of course so i could not do it without either um, for everything that you've done um, so far. I'm going to put this equipment to really good use um, in the coming weeks. Christmas holidays are coming up. I'm going to get out um, and get shooting photographs. Polar alignment, if you have any recommendations um, or, or advice, please leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, it is a difficult thing um, to get my head around, um, but I'm slowly getting there. And as I said, I've done it a few times now. Um, so it's just making sure that um, I'm doing it the most efficient way possible. Woo, another subscriber. Oh, the notification went away. Don't know who it was, but thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for letting me continue my passion. Um, and yeah, just for all of your, I've said continued support so many times in this video, but um, it is not an understatement, like continued support is an understatement. Like, Oh, you also might have noticed that I got new glasses. You'll see why this is relevant with polar alignment to see Polaris. It's, it, it is extremely difficult um, and it's tiny. Um, and um, above all, you need to make sure that your polar scope's focused. 
these glasses make everything so much sharper. I didn't realize that if I, sh this is gonna sound really stupid, but when I shut one of my eyes, like the other eyes blurry. Um, so like obviously when you're doing it with polar alignment, like it was blurry. So these help tremendously. Um, so yeah, I had my eyes tested a couple of weeks ago and this has really, really helped me. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on my journey. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully is an imaging session. Um, so yeah, um, any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Christmas is coming, guys. Um, I'm so excited. If you're getting any astrophotography equipment for Christmas, please let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys are getting to add to your collection. But with that all being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.